everybody! Happy New Year! I hope you're all very well. Wait there, just one moment. The nice thing about living on a boat is everything's so close. So the fridge is right there. And uh, I've been saving that, you see. And a very healthy Christmas and New Year. But I do have a bottle of beer in the fridge, so cheers everybody. Mm, it's very good. Craft ale. It's all the rage at the moment. So I've got my sea harmonica. Folky tremolo. Tremolo, tremolo, vibrato. Is it tremolo? Is it vibrato? It's wobble in your hands and it changes the sound. Who cares what it's called? I believe tremolo is when you change the volume of the, of the timbre the sound and vibrato is when you change the pitch so when you hear that that's a bit more vibrato and if you just change the volume which you do with your hands that is tremolo although some people call it vibrato whatever you like so let's not get into that discussion too much now there's the blues version i'm going to call it tremolo for today there's the, the bluesy one, which... Very effective sound, and, you know, I do that by kind of wrapping round a lot more and bunching the fingers up. But the folky tremolo... Now, what we want to do, if you could just... If you pop the harmonica down for a sec, and let us pray. So if you put your fingers together, and then go down to the right-hand side. This is basically what you end up like when you do this and it's quite uncomfortable because it sort of makes you want to uh, with the shoulder and actually some players do lean their shoulder up a little bit as a stylistic thing it's kind of if you if you're into it so bearing that in mind if we go back to our prayer but we're going to take the harmonica make a gun with your left hand you know you're probably already doing this anyway Put the finger against the ridge there so you've got enough exposed and then what we want to do is keep that hand flat out and keep the fingers together and then bring the thumbs i'm just going to get hopefully you can see that oh i can't twist my hands around anymore so you see how the thumbs come together there underneath the hop and the right hand ends up sliding up a little bit but the crucially the fingers stay together and what you're trying to do is you're trying to seal this thing up. It's never going to be perfect, of course, because you can't seal your hands completely unless you melted them. So you're trying to seal that up. And the test is, is when you release. So if you play a note, I've got the six blow. <laughs> no, it wasn't. It was the five. Five blow. Without doing any kind of fluttery business, you notice there how there's a change in that you feel the pressure release, and that's what it basically is. So that the sounds reverberating in this chamber you've made with your hands, and then you release it, and that affects the pressure, and it affects the timbre. Nice word that, isn't it? The sound, that means the sound. The quality of the sound. So once you've got that pressure, and this is not just a how to do tremolo whatever, because everyone's, there's lots of different ways, you know, it's a very personal thing. People's hands are different sizes, of course. But fundamentally what you're after is the sound changing. And if you can get that wobble, sort of bringing it back and as I'm bringing it back I'm trying to close the gap just like I have it in the first place so what I'm trying to do is con consistently keep the fingers together and to come back and you're not going to get it exactly but you know with a bit of practice and I call this the folky tremolo and it's a nice one because I think a lot of people tend to learn the blues tremolo
which is really cool but that sometimes has limited effect at the top end of the harmonica although it's you know it's still pretty good up there but something about the folky tremolo And players who are really good at this, they can, they can really get this wah wah wah. You know, it's like this the the wobbling of the, the sound, as you close off, and it's very effective. So if I take a little melody, Particularly on that draw note there. Oh, I should have said earlier, uh, do give me the thumbs up, by the way, and uh, subscribe to the channel and all that malarkey if you haven't, that helps me out. Have a practice of that and see if you can get that, oh, that fluttery sound. I'm just going to listen to you practice. That was brilliant. Yeah, I really like what you did there. So you're trying to get that flutter and your little checklist when you're doing this. If you start, let us pray. You're holding the harmonica, hands together. Okay. And then you sort of slide the right one up a little bit. So you get this thumbs. So you've got the thumbs at the front, you can check that one thumb sits into the other. It's almost as if it was designed, we were designed that way. And then the right comes up to the left and crosses over. And then try and get that left right against the right and have a look at the front. So you close that, if you leave in a big gap like that, not going to be as effective. But if you can close that up, get those hands flat and just try that on some melodies that you play. You can even do this down the lower end, still works nicely as well. So give that a try and see how you get on with it. And I'll be back with another harmonica video very soon. So until then, take care. Thanks. Bye.